If I wasn't about to do my brows the wrong color, this would have not been a talk through. But now since I'm talking, I feel like talking, so I'm just gonna keep talking. So yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here I've been getting a whole bunch of new subscribers so I really want to tell you guys welcome especially welcome the newcomers you know make yourselves at home and whatever but I really want to thank everyone that's subscribed to me because honestly it means so much I've been wanting to do YouTube for so long so you know now that I'm putting in the effort I'm really glad that it's not going in vain and whatever so welcome to our little BFF gang thanks for joining if you're not subscribed already then what are you waiting for be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified for all of my future videos and if you want to see how I got this super cute brats look inspired by this honey right here to look like this brats doll right here then just keep on watching. about to do my eyebrows in brown completely forgot I'm doing this look so let's get started we got our base down and this is where we're starting from I'm literally gonna be creating recreating this brat stall look and let's just see how it goes my biggest worry right now honestly is the brow for the brows I know it's like a pinky purplish color I really don't have that many pink lip colors lip liners and stuff so I literally I'm gonna use this color pop one and I'm really gonna hope that it works I'm gonna use this also to line my lips so I feel like they'll tie it all in it's called what is this called actually it's one of my favorite it's called Ellery yeah, it was like from her first collection and I love this color so much I have to buy it every single time along with the color tool but it's completely not related. Literally if I wasn't about to do my brows the wrong color this would have not been a talk through but now since I'm talking I feel like talking so I'm just gonna keep talking. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the brush and I'm gonna rub it on the tip of the pencil. It's really dark. I'm scared. I'm gonna start from the outer brow first just in case you know. I don't want it to be crazy looks a little bit red not red though guys it's really like a dark pinky purple and her brow is definitely like a dark pinky purple I think this color actually probably suits well I'm probably just being a perfectionist or whatever but um that's what I do I have to say my brows are like super close together even though I usually make my brows super close together because low key I have a unibrow guys and I think it's cute and I low key want to grow it out but I'm not yet because I'm kind of insecure about it because it's not really an everyday thing but I don't know. So yeah I'm gonna have to like clean it up and make it a little bit further from each other but I think the color came out really nice. I think I did a good job. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean up my brows like I would if I did my regular brows with my Ellie Girl concealer. Make them not so close together first of all
Oh yeah, I feel like right now would be a really good time since I decided to do a talk through with this. Would be a really good time to be like to shout out all of my new subscribers. Hey you guys, I feel like I've been gaming really like rapidly lately and I just want to say hi to everyone and thank you guys so much for subscribing to me. It means so much. I'm so excited for this like little BFF game to like continue growing because I just feel like every time someone new subscribes to me I'm like oh hey whatever the person's name is now we're BFFs so it's totally lit and I totally appreciate it so much because oh my god I just like wanted to do this for so long and I'm just glad that the work I'm putting in now isn't going in vain and people are actually watching and subscribing to me it means so much to me so I just wanted to take the minute to like be like thank you because it means a lot it really does I just <laughs> thank you I think those came out really good guys I really like my brows they look kind of reddish right now but I feel like as soon as we start adding more pink in then it's gonna look more pink. So her blending out of the eyeshadow on this doll is kind of funny. Like it goes from dark to like medium and then to like light. So I think I'm gonna do... First off, let me do my brow bone. I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place palette. I feel like this palette is really good for Halloween because the colors are just so freaking pigmented. I'm gonna literally gonna do my fave pink crease combo. I'm supposed to be starting with this color right here which is Giza or Giza and I'm going to put down my brow bone. Now I'm going to go in with that color Bori and I'm going to blend that into my crease. You're going to start from your outer edge of your eye. I literally always start from the inner part of my eye but you're not supposed to do that. And up to like right below my brow bone guys and I'm kind of going to take it like a little bit down like the sides of my nose a bit and I'm going to keep that like almond shape that it has like on the back stall if you could, like see that I'm already in love with this look. I already know it's gonna be like super cute. Now I'm gonna go into Zobo. I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush for this one. I'm just gonna go in with wind swiper motion into the crease directly. I like to do little circle wind swiper motions on the outer edge. Cool. Now I'm gonna do a cut crease using my Ellie Girl Pro Concealer. I finally got that trick to work and my camera stopped recording. Look at it. So unsatisfactory. I feel like I should zoom you guys in. I always forget to do that. I forgot I bought like red bubble ice cream from Ben and Jerry's and it's literally my favorite ice cream ever and I was thinking like I'm pretty hungry and I was supposed to eat something I bought something to eat but what was it? and I just remembered what it was and I literally specifically bought that ice cream to eat it while I was doing the tutorial so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish my cut crease and go get my freaking ice cream guys and it matches this look what's I'm gonna have me a good time <laughs> I think that's well enough. It's a little bit messy, but I'm gonna clean it up right now. I'm now gonna go into my Beauty Creations Elsa palette, my other Halloween fave, obviously. I'm gonna take up this dark purple here because clearly she has a dark purple in her crease, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use another angled brush. This is my Morphe M215, and I'm just gonna literally line where the concealer meets the eyeshadow. Literally gotta just really intricately trace that line. My BH Cosmetics Novu Noveo Neutrals palette. 
is a winner. It has this pretty selection of pinks and this pink right here. And this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to apply some setting powder underneath my eyes just to catch whatever fallout might happen. And just blot my nose while I'm at it. I need to figure out what the secret is to like not have an oily nose, but I feel like that's everyone's problem. It actually isn't having any fallout at all, which I'm really like happy about. Like I know this palette doesn't have a lot of fallout, but sometimes I do get a little bit of fallout. But um, yeah, this color isn't doing that, so that's really good. Sorry, I keep putting my mirror up that keeps like blocking out the light. Guys, I just keep always forget. Like, I know I've said this a million times, but I literally always forget. I think that looks really bomb, like honestly. I'm gonna take the original pink color that I used, Bori, from my Juvie's Place palette, and I'm gonna just blend that on like the outer parts of my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to go in with this Kiss Professionals Luxury Intense Eyeliner in the color white. I'm going to line my waterline and a little bit below my waterline. This honestly isn't the best white eyeliner that you can use. The one that they have that is actually really good is the same brand, Kiss. I can't remember what it's exactly called. This other one that's $7.00 that you guys can buy if you can buy it you should buy that one instead because i do think it's better than this one but this one does get the job done it's just like in the waterline it rubs out a little bit but you know it still get the job done you know Sorry guys, I just need to not use that mirror. So I'm gonna use this mirror so it doesn't do that anymore. That mirror is so much better. So now I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm gonna use my Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going to go ahead and line underneath my eyes as well. Underneath where that white liner stops. First, I'm going to drag down the inner corners of my eyes. I feel like the entire Halloween has been about like this extended eye thing. If you see my other videos. And if you haven't, you should go watch them. Because what are you doing? Them. Okay, I'm gonna bring down that white eyeliner to where I just need to stop. Guys, I know I'm like so low down, but I'm like trying so hard to like focus and like balance my arm on my knee so my lines come out perfect. And I'm gonna put on my mascara and I guess my lashes, my least favorite part. I'm gonna try to put some mascara on the tips of my lashes so they don't like interfere with that liner there. I just don't like the tips of them though. By the way, I'm using my Paradise, my Voluminous Lash Paradise Ice Cap. Ice Gara. Mascara. I'm just gonna continue this video as a voiceover because honestly, if I had kept talking, it would have lasted like 40 minutes and then no one would have watched it. I just applied some blush for my Nuevo Neutrals blush palette. And now I'm just applying all those little hearts that we saw in that Brat Stall base onto mine using my NYX Vivid Light Eyeliner in the color pink, I believe. If it's not just pink, I'll most definitely have it in the description below. Be sure to read that. It has a ton of added information that you guys might want to know about my channel. Who knows? I mean, hey, whatever. I'm literally just super focused trying to get every single one of these hearts. I've never drawn actual images on my face before, so this was the first but I really like the way it came out and then I'm just gonna add some more blush to the apples of my cheek because I feel like it wasn't really showing through enough so now she has like a few little white freckles on her face so I'm just using this Ruby Kisses white eyeliner 
and just dotting some freckles on this tip is obviously really good for making faux freckles i always thought that and this is my first time actually trying it and it worked out really well so now for those big luscious brats doll lips i'm overlining my lip with this la girl pencil i don't remember the name of it right now but i will show you guys i really 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 went over on the bottom lip so it just looked really big massive and plump this is kind of how I usually line my lip for those who are wondering, but just a little bit more exaggerated. And now I'm going in with my ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color, I don't remember, but it'll be in the description down below. So if you want to know what that is, yeah, just be sure to check that out again. And I'm literally just ombreing it out using my now ColourPop lip liner in the color Tulu and going over that because the first lip liner I used was actually kind of red. So yeah, I'm going to go over it with this one to keep it really pinky and just cute. And that is it, guys. That is all for this brat tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below on what your favorite brat stall was when the show was on and thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for future videos and thanks for watching again you know you guys you know i appreciate you guys so much for sticking around and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys